Namaste and a warm welcome to all the viewers of Namaste City. I am delighted to have you join us today on our YouTube channel dedicated to the fascinating world of SAP. In today's episode, we are going to explore a powerful feature of ABAP 7.4, the conditional operator. As a developer, we often encounter situations where we need to evaluate conditions and make decisions based upon those evaluations. The conditional operator in ABAP 7.4 provides an elegant and concise solution to handle such scenarios. So the conditional operator is most beneficial when you are having multiple conditions that needs to be evaluated in a concise and a readable manner. So here, as you can see, there are two examples which I have uh, taken. One is with the conditional operator and on the top is a if else condition. So we are currently using the if else condition in our standpoint four and prior to that also. And we can also use a case statement, right? When we are dealing with some kind of a condition. Okay. So uh, there might be a question like why would we be using a cond operator? We are using if, we are using a case. So what is the need of using cond operator? So let us understand the need first, then only we will be uh, going forward, we will understand how it is leveraging the existing one. Okay. So in this case of if statement evaluation, as you can see, if psi index, if the index value is 1, then it would go to this. LB value will have first, if the psi index value is 2, then LB value variable will be holding second or else none of the condition is getting satisfied, then LB value will be holding the other. Okay, so here basically once a condition is found, the corresponding value is assigned to the LB value in case of if else condition. If none of the condition is true, the else block is executed. This is fine for if else. Okay, take for example this condition, the con condition. In this example, the con operator evaluates the condition one by one until it finds a true condition. Okay, so we have a when inside a con operator. Like psi index equal to when, then it is first. If it is like true, then it is second, else it is other. Okay. Once a true condition is found, the corresponding value is assigned to the variable LB underscore value. Okay. If none of the condition are true, the last else value is assigned. Okay. So there is a minute difference between this. As you can see, the cond operator allows you to express the same logic. It is also doing the same thing. But in a more concise way, you are using a single statement, but there are multiple statements as you can see over. Okay. It concises multiple condition into a single statement, making your code easier to write and to maintain as well. All right. Let's see in action, guys. Let's see in action. Now let us, uh, in order to demonstrate the conditional operator, let us fetch some data from VBAK, okay. And thereafter, we will be using a if condition and thereafter we will be using the conditional operator and we will show you the benefit in practical, okay. Select. Is a document type UART and BB type as document at three from PDA A into at three data. IP VP AK. Oh, sorry, it is using R ah, yeah. into WA VB. It is a work area where we will be putting the data. Where the plane is equal to some value. Okay. Activate this. You need that Weblin value. That's why. Let us use some value. 
I'm hard coding the value of the like this. Okay. Full stop and activate. Column name J P E L N. Now let us check. Uh, let us use that CL underscore demo underscore output. See doc type is uh, zss and doc cat is c okay so we'll let ss so we'll write an if condition over here so all these aliases are coming which we have written over here this is doc type equal to something or equals uh, to zss and c zss and c zss and c now here we can write other else as well else if else if and make an entry for we can zss1 zss2 you can write b b okay. now if you're using a if condition whatever uh, if whatever condition is been satisfied suppose first condition is satisfied then we are doing an inline declaration lv underscore results this is the inline declaration of a variable and we can specify a certain text over here suppose standard quotation standard quotation we can duplicate return quotation okay we are just giving arbitrary values okay and storing into lv result this is how we used to do if we are using a if else if condition okay let us activate it else if okay two times i have written let's activate this yeah done let's print lv results it is okay sorry let us write this this is this is doc type is Achha, okay sorry see doc type is zss one small mistake which i have did it would be doc cat okay. let me come in this and activate this execute it standard quotation is coming right this is fine this is fine with the if else if condition so as you can see we have written couple of lines over here right so each and every line is a statement each and every line is a statement and every time we are passing suppose standard quotation we are putting into lv result for duplicate quotation again we are putting into lv result so every time whatever value we wanted to pass we are putting into the same variable lv result and at times it may require that you may have to clear this variable in order to avoid like garbage value may be returned so you have to take care of that portion also well you have to clear it clear this variable and now So this is with 
this syntax okay it would give me an error so let me clear it okay. not required to clear since it is an inline declaration so it is not required to clear fine now let me show you with the con conditional operator how it is done so if you're using a conditional operator you can write lv text lv underscore text okay write c o n d this is for condition give a hash okay and open and close bracket and again put a when condition and write all this logic over here okay when vb w underscore vb ak equal doc type that is zss and vb ak document category is c then you want it to print standard quotation this is a string that you wanted to place this standard quotation will be placed over lv text same thing we will have to do it again zss1 zss2 e and d duplicate quotation and this is return quotation suppose and activate this let me print this over here lv text value of lv text will be printed over here let me check it yes see this is with the existing logic like if you are using a if statement and this is complete is a single statement okay this conditional operator cont has this is a single statement whatever value it is getting computed over here it is been placed over lv underscore text value let's execute it see standard quotation has been printed 